Good morning, New Beginnings. It's me, Pastor Danish House. Today is Monday, January 18th, 2021. Thank you so much for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I'm glad you decided to make me part of your life today, and I'm delighted that you're part of my life as well. Well, today is uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. It's a holiday. Our church office is closed. I'm at home. Today's a day off, sort of. <laughs> um, and so I'm shooting this from my home. Um, today also is Carolyn Edick's birthday. Happy birthday, Carolyn. God bless you. We're so glad that you're part of our fellowship. Uh, thank you for being such an essential part of everything that we do. Um, we love you so much, uh, and we was good to see you at church yesterday, um, praying for you and with you. Uh, have a great birthday today. May the Lord bless you in every way, and uh, may you be surrounded by the love of your family and friends today, and know that you're loved by the Lord and by his church as well. Tonight also at 7 o'clock is an elder board meeting. Very excited about that. Our first elder board meeting since yesterday's annual meeting. Thank you all for uh, coming with us to the annual meeting. Man, we had almost every voting member of the church there. It was pretty amazing. Uh, some people were there live and in person. Some were there by Zoom. It took us a little while to get our voting technology straightened out. Thank you so much for your patience. Um, but uh, once that happened, uh, the meeting went along pretty well. Um, it took a while. Uh, it was about a three hour meeting, including all the tech support. So about two hours and 20 minutes, not including the tech support. But we did a lot of great work. Um, we did our elections. We worked through the proposals to the bylaws and passed them with some amendments. And uh, we worked through the budget as well. So it was a great meeting. Thank you everybody who was there. I very much appreciate uh, your participation in the life of our fellowship. Um, what else should I say? Well. Uh, yeah, so today is, uh, it's day, I think it's day 16 of the uh, 40 days of prayer with the Christian and Missionary Alliance. And uh, the devotional today is on the Spirit's presence in the life of a believer. The Holy Spirit's presence in the life of a believer. We, I preached yesterday on spirit fullness, being filled with the Holy Spirit. What does that mean? Well, in one, one of the things it means is that the Holy Spirit is present in our lives as believers every single day. Um, I didn't like the devotional today. I didn't, it wasn't wrong or anything, but didn't really dig into the scriptures the way I wanted it to. So I, I wanted to pull a different passage out for you. It's Romans chapter 8, verses 14 through 16. Romans 8, verses 14 through 16 says this. This is later on in the same chapter that I preached on on Sunday. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God, for you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you've received the spirit of adoption as sons, by whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. It's a great passage. Uh, all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. Uh, the Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. Interesting, uh, the gender language, just going to point this out because this throws some people, uh, it calls us sons of God in verse 14 and sons of God in verse 15. Uh, all who receive, who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God, and we receive the spirit of adoption as sons. Um, does that mean that only men can be filled with the Holy Spirit of God? And the answer to that is no. Many of you have heard this from me before, but when the Bible uses the language of sons, usually what, it, what it's referring to is the fact that sons are have the ability in in the Bible days, sons had the ability to inherit from their father, uh, whereas daughters did not inherit from their daughter. So when Paul uses this sons language, he's not being uh, sexist. He is writing out of a sexist society, but he, he's not being sexist himself. He's using the word sons to talk about our ability to inherit from our Father, our Father God. And he sort of underlines that in verse 16 when he says, the Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And there he uses the, 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 the word that includes men and women. But that's not the main point of this, of this passage, although it, it points at it. What, what Paul is saying here is, is that uh, the Spirit of God takes residence in our hearts when we give our lives to Christ. 
we are uh, we become sons and daughters inheritors of God we become God's children and have the full inheritance of what God has for us and that full inheritance is not an inheritance of of slavery to fear um, but rather it's a spirit of adoption where we become legitimate full-fledged children of the living God uh, this is amazing that the whole, when the Holy Spirit takes up residence inside us, uh, the Holy Spirit testifies to our hearts that God has adopted us as his children, that we inherit from God all of his goodness and all of his grace. God has given us everything that we need, and the Holy Spirit dwells in our hearts to testify to us that this is the case. There's lots of other benefits to having the Holy Spirit dwell within us. We're going to talk about a bunch of those benefits as this week goes on. But the first benefit is that the Holy Spirit bears witness in our hearts that we are children of God. If you have given your life to Jesus, then the Holy Spirit has taken residence in your heart and testifies to you that you are God's child. <clears throat> you belong to him and he loves you. One of the things I did like from today's devotional is the final questions where the, the writer asks for us to reflect back, when have we seen the Holy Spirit at work in our lives? And to give thanks for that. Let's just take a minute here and, and reflect back. When have you seen the Holy Spirit at work in your life? Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for the activity of the Holy Spirit in our lives. God, thank you for sending the Holy Spirit to dwell inside us and to uh, confirm with our spirit that we belong to God. But I, I think back on the times when the Holy Spirit, when I've known that the Holy Spirit was active in my life, and I, some of those times I knew right away that the Holy Spirit was working at that moment. And I thank you for those times when I was fully aware of the presence of the Holy Spirit at that moment in my life. Other times I've seen the hand of the Holy Spirit after the fact, looking back and seeing how I've been guided through uh, difficulties and dangers and, and made my way through. Uh, and the Holy Spirit has been guiding me. Sometimes when the Holy Spirit is, has uh, made his presence known to me, it's been emotionally very moving. Other times the Holy Spirit has made his presence known in me by uh, bringing me, uh, bringing to my re recollection things that I needed to remember from the scriptures. Sometimes it's been guidance. Sometimes it's been uh, the voice of a, a conscience that was deeper than my own. Lord, I thank you for the work of the Holy Spirit in my life and in the life of every believer. I pray for everyone within the sound of my voice that they would take some time and listen to the voice of the Spirit today and that they would know that they are loved by you and adopted into your family as children. God, I lift up to you Carolyn Edick today. Please bless her on her birthday. May she have a wonderful, wonderful day of rejoicing and peace. God, I pray for our elder board meeting tonight at seven o'clock. May it be a wonderful time where we uh, get done uh, the, the most recent business of the church. Please bless our time together. Bless our elders. Bless Dave Joya as he joins our elder board May this all be a blessing, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks, New Beginnings, for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I'm glad that you made me part of your life today, and I'm looking forward to talking to, talking to you again tomorrow.